Malcolm Oliver goes on the attack. This rider of Trek Segafredo looking to enhance the pace. The GC battle is set to resume as the Tour de France heads to the Pyrenees this weekend. But before tackling the high mountains, there's another chance for the Baroudeur and the Punchers on stage 14. A lumpy outing between Carcassonne and Quillon with a series of short but steep climbs. It looks ideal for a couple of riders who have already tasted victory in this year's race. Here goes Julien Alaphilippe. He wins stage number one. J'aimerais tenter quelque chose dans le weekend, donc on va voir comment ça, comment ça va. Quoi. Matty Moric, he's going to have the emotion and the glory of winning a stage of the Tour de France. It's four wins in the Tour, wonderful wout. I think there's a lot of interest for the stage victory today. Today is another opportunity. Well, they were just three contenders on what was set to be a thriller. There were attacks galore in the early part of the stage with an average speed of over 48 kilometers an hour and some of the usual suspects already getting involved. Quentin Pacher is the attacker with Julian Alaphilippe, Matty Moric. They're throwing some troops at this to try and keep this race together. Christian Spiragli was the first man to get a proper gap. After a brief lull, he was joined by four other riders, Jonas Rickart, Anthony Turgis, Maxim Chevalier and Tom Skewens but the peloton was soon chasing hard. It all came back together after the intermediate sprint, where Dries Davinens helped to protect Mark Cavendish's green jersey. Wout Pools and Mattia Catanio sparking another move on the Col de Monsegur, the second of the day's five climbs. Michael Woods joining them and battling with Pools for polka dots. They began the day third and fourth in the mountains classification. And on the line, oh, I'd say it's almost a photograph. A group of seven chasers on that trio's tail, Guillaume Martin, Esteban Chavez, Sergio Higuita, Omar Fraile, Luis Menkes, Balka Mollema and Patrick Conrad. They were also joined by four Frenchmen, Pache, Pierre Roland, Elie Gesbert and Valentin Madouas. So 14 riders now in the lead, heading on to climb number four of the day, the Côte de Galinag. Their gap creeping up to over four minutes over the peloton. Woods and Pools continuing their battle, with the Canadian doing enough to overtake Nairo Quintana as the virtual king of the mountains. Into this corner, look, oh, and that's that tarmac, I think. Mike Woods comes off. Valka Mollema goes on the attack. This rider of Trek Segafredo looking to enhance the pace. Mollema kicking on with just over 40 kilometers remaining before the tricky final climb of the Col de Saint-Louis, 4.7k at 7.4%. The Dutchman with around a minute on his fellow escapees, while the peloton were resigned to letting the breakaway go all the way. Gil Martin going through to the front in the Cofidis colors. Look of not, there's the uh, situation. Look at this, Guillaume Martin now is moving himself into second place in the Tour de France. Rigoberto Aran would be in third, and Jonas Vengegaard in fourth. Now, Boca Molma started on the initial slopes of the climb. He has 1 minute 20 nearly on the rest of the breakaway. Is that enough to stay away? Let's wait and see. He is giving this everything he can to win today's stage. Now, Esteban Chavez likes these conditions. He likes it hot and he likes these climbs steep. You can see him on the initial slopes of this climb really putting the pressure down and making this breakaway explode. Behind, Guillaume Martin is working hard to bridge across the, to the gap created by Esteban Chavez. Guillaume Martin is moving himself into second place in the Tour de France tonight. He needs to ride this climb flat out the way a pure climber can. As we see Conrad distancing Catanio, Michael Woods is there. 200 metres to go for Balka Mollema. He's almost at the top of the climb. 
He'll secure the maximum points in the King of the Mountains. He'll secure the bonus seconds, but Balcomolima isn't thinking about that. He is going to put his head down and get himself set to race down to Keon and win today's stage. And it's been a fast day in the mountains. 42 and a half kilometers an hour, the average speed so far today. Look at that, full commitment, full power. Mollema can sense a win. Balka Mollema is in the finishing run-in to enjoy today's stage victory. He attacked over 40 kilometers from the line and he's going to solo now into victory in Keon. His second victory on a stage of the Tour de France, the win of Balka Mollema. Who's going to take the second place on the finish line? It's going to be Patrick Conrad and Higita in a photograph. It's all going to be about time for him. He sneaked his way into this group and potentially he's going to be in the top three in the Tour de France tonight. Now we start to count the time. Oh, super nice. I mean, uh, yeah, it's amazing to, to win a stage again. It was a nice group, a lot of strong guys, but we were not working together so well. So yeah, I was feeling good. So I just thought, let, let's go. I did like 40, 45 kilometers alone. So it was, was a hard final, but uh, super happy I made it. Mollema celebrating his second stage win on the Tour after his solo triumph in Le puy en velay in 2017. Trek Segafredo's first victory on this race since 2018. Sale Vigaccia still leads the way overall, while the day's other big winner, Guillaume Martin, is up to second behind the Slovenian before they tackle a gruelling 15th stage in the high mountains. It's quite hard, it's really hard. Uh, I had a lot of uh, altitude, but uh, we have uh, yeah, uh, good ambitions going tomorrow. Uh, we, we have uh, confidence and we will see what happens. Mark Cavendish still boasts a comfortable lead over Michael Matthews in the points classification, while Woods takes over from Quintana as the king of the mountains, and we can expect more action in that classification in the coming days. Pagaccia, the best young rider, is still the man to beat. Can they find any chinks in his armour on the road to Andorra?